You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. By going to rollermartinunfiltered.com, you can make this possible. No charcoal girls are allowed. I'm white. I got you, huh? Yeah, I'm um, illegally selling water without a permit. I'm on my property. Whoa! Hey! Hey, remember, give me your ass. Yeah. Okay, so we got another one. Lord, white people just crazy, y'all. <laughs> they cray cray, cray cray. The New York State Commission on Judicial Conduct announced that a state judge has been permanently barred from the bench after the commission filed a complaint over a threatening Facebook post that conveyed, quote, racial and or political bias, unquote. The official complaint shows that Alona Town Court Judge Kyle Canning had posted in February an image of a noose with text that read, if we want to make America great again, we will have to make evil people fear punishment again. A noose. Hmm. According to the commission, Canning resigned in June after they served him the complaint regarding the post and has agreed never to seek or accept judicial office at any time in the future. All right. I mean, we, we just got cray-cray today. Cray cray to the cray cray. Mm. Uh, Dr. Greg Carr, this was a. Ju help us understand the significance of noose in the context of our history. Well, I think it, it, if you uh, play it right, you can get elected to the United States Senate. Remember Cindy Hyde in Mississippi saying oh. that, you know, if you invite me to a lynching, I'll come. And, yes. and Mike Epps still lost mm -hmm. the election. Yep. I mean, so that, that, that noose is a yes. symbol of uh, just tie these two white stories power. together. It's a symbol mm -hmm. of white power and order. Yep. And this guy doesn't even have a JD. He was he ended up in law school. They made him a judge in that little place. And he, I mean, the Isn't idea... he 29 years old or something yeah. like that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, but like you said, crazy case is crazy white folk international because Justin Trudeau was 29 when he blacked his face up at that party in Canada. But, I mean, <laughs> as a teacher. But to, to your point, I mean, I think... As a teacher. Yes. yes. But the noose symbolizes justice by any means necessary, and it's lynch law. Ida B. Wells told us about that a hundred some years ago. Lynch law in all its phases. When you see a noose, everybody knows what that means. We right. coming for you. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean the judge, it means the victim of the judge. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Erica, again, um, to what Jasmine tweeted out uh, um, the other day, it is white men knowing that they can operate without impunity. And then he issued um, a statement, and in that statement, he was not remorseful at all. He was apologetic to, I believe, his colleagues who I, he felt like his yes. absence, yeah, yeah, would, you know, create, I guess, a more burden of a workload. Them, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> again, y'all, look at what we're dealing with. This is not a drill. This is what it is. And I'm glad that um, in that story it did mention his age because I yeah. believe that our it, within our nation that there's this belief that you know, people who are um, anti-black and who are racist are this, you know, this oh, group God, of people yeah. that are, you know, they're falling. No, 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 ma'am. No, they are being born every day and they're mm. here. Well, see, and that, that's my... I don't mind old racists. So they finna die. <laughs> I mean, I, I truly don't... Old racists don't really get on my nerves. It's young racists, you know. It's like, where did you get that from? I mean, oh. what, what, but they got they got <laughs> right. it from their mamas and daddies. They got it at their dinner table. But you know, like I said, you, you run into an old racist, and you're just like, oh well, just you know, you got about a few, 15 more minutes, and you up out of here. <laughs> Henny, what do you think? Yeah, I also believe, uh, also what Erica said as well about age. When I found out that he was only 29 years old, I was like, mm. that's very. Interesting. But Dylan Roof was was 21. Oh. Yeah, uh, but, you know, I mean, so you know, how, how I mean, where do these people? get this racism from. I was on uh, the, the link to the article was the WashingtonPost.com and I went on to the link mm -hmm. and, and the comments. I, I enjoy the comments mm -hmm. just So one guy says, well, it, a noose doesn't have to be racist. I'm like, read some history, fool. Come on. Uh, you know? Yeah. So th there's a level of ignorance and history denial. And the beautiful thing about this moment to me is that it's bubbling up. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's bubbling up. And people, you know, we... We, you know, black people with sense, are not gonna let them tamp it down again. It's bubbling yeah. up. That's yeah, right. yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can't put the um, the lid on this pot, so it's pretty much bubbling it's over. Really unfortunate. Yeah. So we got these we got these connected stories of policemen, the the the, the um, dreadlocks, 
the ignorant Baltimore policeman, what was his name, Mr. Price, number 5253. Don't forget it, y'all. Right. <laughs> and then this this Thank judge. No, and it's, 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 when, we connect, it when, yeah. when we connect these things, yeah. what are we left with, Greg? I think we're left with the importance of black news media, the importance of conversations like this, the fact that we live not just in the United States, but in the world. I'm so glad you said what you said, honey, about, you know, being Somali and being here in the United States, I'm sorry, that you understand uniquely in a way that we need to begin to understand that the United States isn't the only country in the world and everything mm. is in place. I mean, even the Fed story, the Chinese are sitting back laughing. Why? You start a trade war with the future of the world. Mm. So well, there's 300, 300 and some million of us and how many trillion of them? No I mean, they, they outpopulate us three to one. one. 1.2 yeah. billion Africans right now, 40% of whom are under 15 years old. So let's be very clear. This We're living in the past, except uh -huh. our people are part of a larger world. Yes. And if China decides to start a real trade war with America, that's when these hillbillies that are going to vote for somebody else are going to get real messed up because the draws in Walmart are going to go skyrocket <laughs> yes, and sell the iPhones and the MacBooks. Yes, so, I mean... The draws I mean, in Walmart. Like, we're in the <laughs> right. It's the truth. No, Walmart going to be empty. That's it. These people don't understand. We live in the world. White America needs to wake up or, and understand that in a minute when this thing falls apart, if we act right, we got an option. But they're mm -hmm. trapped over here. Yes, sir. You know, and the, you mentioned uh, Trudeau and the uh, yes. brown face yes. thing. That was shocking to me because he seems to be relatively progressive. But, you know, that just shows that when you scratch a white person, here come the racism. Henny, you got something to say? Yes, I, I do about Trudeau. I was, I was thinking about that <laughs> a lot, actually. Because, you know, when people think of Canadians, they think of maple syrup mm. and they think mm. of hockey. But I think there's, like, <laughs> uh, like, uh, uh, a, it, there is an obvious racism in there. Like, and people do not understand the First Nations, the people, the, you know, indigenous people yes. in, in in Canada are treated incredibly terribly. Okay. They're, they're only 3% of the population, but are 26% of the prison population. Mm. So, so yes, Canada may not be like America, but they all also have issues. And for him to talk about he didn't understand what, uh, you know, the implications of uh, brown face or black face, and it's, it's com uncommon to him and unheard, but it's like, but you are yet, you are the prime minister mm. of a country no, uh, that is systematically racist a, to people. The child of a prime minister as well. As, as this, well. This boy is not stupid. Right. Yes. The, 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 it, it, it's just... People seem to feel like making fun of people of color is is a joke, like uh, Northam and yeah. Herring yeah. and all those. We're almost out of time, Erica. I'm gonna let you have the last word. Oh, just really, qu I mean, that's because they've been able to get away with it for so long. But what an exciting time to be alive, and I hope everybody um, does what they need to do in support of our democracy. All right, folks, back to that roadblock unfiltered video in just one moment. That's my homeboy there, uh, Gerald Albright, one of the folks performing at the Life Lux Jazz Experience in Cabo, November 7th through 11th. I'm going to be there as well. Weekend-long event held at the Omnia Day Club in Los Cabos, nestled on the Sea of Cortez in Los Cabos, Mexico. Folks, it's going to be an amazing time over those four days. We're going to have lots of great food and drink and golf and spa, health and wellness, you name it. The second annual Life Lux Jazz Experience. Of course, some great people, entertainers are going to be there. Comedian Mark Curry, Gerald Albright, Alex Bunyan, Raul Madon, Incognito, Pieces of a Dream, Kirk Whalem, Average White Band, Donnie McClurkin, Shalea, Roy Ayers, Tom Brown, Ronnie Laws, and Ernest Quarles. I'll be broadcasting Roller Martin Unfiltered for that Thursday and Friday there as well. And so we want you to be in the house. It's going to be a great time. Uh, go to lifeluxjazz.com, L-I-F-E-L-U-X-E-J-A-Z-Z.com for more information. Packages are going fast. You also want to book it soon so your airline tickets are not crazy high. So go to lifeluxjazz.com. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered Film.